computer start recording using all available cameras including suit use built-in mic to helmet prisoner log day one I am Kuzru Boot commander in the URN United Republic Navy Burn. I was born in a high grav world I am an augmented human. I am used to an extra 0.6 gravities above normal. So, two Earth standard gravities. I am augmented. I can live more than most humans and have an extended lifespan of 100 and, well, 80 to 200 years. I am 100 years old, either now or soon depending on how long I was in hypersleep. My homeworld table was inv invaded by the United Republic just after the Second AI War, about 80 years ago, when I was 19. I've been in service in the Army since I was 15, but as a, t uh, a technician, or as you call grunt work, pliers. The URN decided we need to be shown the true way of life and came on force. Our government capitulated without a, without a shot being fired. After so many years of the air wars, one after the other, we just couldn't afford to fight them off. What we didn't know at the time was that the URN were just about to pass laws banning AI and that it was being run by a council that was unelected of 60 people covering hundreds of worlds. My father's family were deep in the tech industry before the war and during we were working alongside some of the, the most advanced AI. My closest siblings was a robot AI called the Kazan. When the war reached our world in full he followed me into the service. Young AI given a, a fragile robot body to learn what it's like to be Squishy, <laughs> as my brother said. It wasn't long before the it wasn't long before the um, laws came in, and the air were either exiled or repurposed, deactivated, destroyed. We couldn't stop them. Keeping my nose clean, I decided. I, the, I decided to join the URN and earn my place as chief engineer on the fast courier leader's word. She is the most advanced ship of her class and afforded me a view of the galaxy that few inside the Republic saw. I was versed in nanotechnology, cloaking technology, energy transmission, well, all the other things that have been scripted. I'll explain later when I'm not so mad. I have been sentenced to a terraformed border world for crimes against the state. I simply asked why, as the son of a farmer, we were never allowed such luxuries as scented soap, and our political officer smelt like house of ill repute. He did not see the funny side. And as he is born into a political class family, I ended up here. Ten years mining and farming drone supervisor. I was allowed the standard media files, programs that the monitors allow. A few blueprints of unusual things like helicopter parts and plane parts. But after that, I have a set of rules I have to follow to the letter or die. The world is called Delta X-Ray 3 and the Delta X-Ray 7, 21, 12, 1, 7 Lima Oscar system, which I think means Gulag uh, 1215 using the old letter codes from when I was a child. It is an icy hellhole. It has an eccentric orbit that seems to be in the coal phase. I guess why that's the lake over there is completely not frozen. Hmm. 
cold fave is about five years long. One apt timing for me, I think. I have been taught how to take measurements of the surrounding areas and how to analyse them and see how the terraforming was done. How the flora and fauna survive a winter phase that's so long and so cold. I have a few automated bases nearby I plan to leave them well enough alone. Um, my suit has picked up an unknown body reading about 31.78 markers away. Um, not close by any stretch of the imagination in the current equipment I've got. I am allowed one letter standard week home that will be edited according to them. I am required to upload any new laws and rules or download them and to keep myself fully versed with them. I am required to fill any orders given to me for supplies as long as I get 10 days local standard notice. 10 days is 10 rotations of the sun which is now going down. I think I've got enough power for the night to work through. If not, I'll have to start up try and fabricate parts from the planes. Right, let me get on with this and see what I can do. Hopefully, hopefully, I have enough to survive the, the, the winter, or the first true winter coming. Summers will be slightly warm, but winters will be so cold. I don't even know what suit technology, um, it's a new HUD design, but after that it's a standard outside shape. So, right, let's get on with this. I'm going to have to start by powering down everything. Computer. Stop recording. Addendum 1. I found no reactors sadly, so I'm going to have to be working on solar and battery backups. The ships available won't give me enough reactor parts to make a reactor and I have no silver or stores to make one myself to fabricate parts I think I have enough for the night but how for the night I don't know honestly um, I've powered everything I could down that I don't need or try to some things I'm going to have to hack into and repurpose myself up these fires as well. The stim shot they gave me to wake me up from the cryo sleep hopefully wears out. Sides I've got. I was given top of the line tools and this suit is in fact really good and I mean really good. It's almost marine quality. Large steel tubes and motors. I mean it carries, it augments my extended strength by a lot. Um, even if a low grav world was wearing this would be able to almost max me. It's very very nice. Its downside is it doesn't pre pressurize from outside air. What it does do is it has to be plugged in. Now, this struck me as a little strange until I realised something. This suit uses very, very little power to keep warm. Which means that it's a space-based suit. It's pressurised. If it can handle the colder space, it can handle the not so cold of this planet. I whoever gave me this did me a huge favour. Um, computers and steel plates again.
The only thing I'm going to have to be careful with is with this is press back to the face. Having the uh, face mask open all the time is going to. And those coalish nuts may not be an option. Which means I'm going to be building vents into all vehicles just in case. Because I believe the templates I've got for vehicles are all airtight as well. It will make heating them so much easier. It will make things so much better for my life if I do that. Heating them with the air coming in will be safer as well. Just in case there are toxins I don't know about. If there is a warm front over this world. As the night sets in, I'm going to do some programming. See if I have enough parts to build a computer and to see if the suit AI I have is any good. Or if it's just a primitive one. Or oh, sorry, not AI, it's synth. It's not an AI, it's not even close to being an AI. I wish Kazan was here so much. Just the ability to, to ask him to do things and he'd be able to do it. I need to tell me what needs to repair them, I need to know what he means. All my life it was there, like my brothers and sisters. And I'm a middle-aged man and I should have known better. I should know better. In the United Republic, say nothing, see nothing. Say nothing, see nothing. Or well, the political, political class make you pay. <sighs> Computer, end recording please. Well, this is a turn up for the books. Found a letter from my captain. My family are going to move into his estates. My wife and children mainly. Um, it will make sure that their letters and items are given to me on a regular basis if, if he can. And he's left me a code cylinder. The strangest thing. Why would he do such a thing? So I can send my wife secret thoughts? So he can send me what's going on in the, the urn? He's always been a suspicious and reserved man. But I didn't realise how deeply ingrained his suspicion of people was. I'm making the main room at the moment airtight and ready for me to sleep or program overnight. I've got most of the parts I needed for, a, for an AI, well, for a computer system. Um, and I'm going to upload the basic, I'm going to copy over my suit systems. It's a simplistic one, but it'll adapt from what I can read of its code. <coughs> I never was the code, and my brother was the one. What with being a code himself, partly. Um, the important part I'll show you now, and I'll start changing things. found a huge hydrogen tank, all the external vent systems I want, oxygen generation for hydrogen, um, oxygen storage tanks just in case, this is a standard planetary landing ship, uh, planetary landing base, um, they vibrate the ground and sink it in to, to anchor it. I've got little helpful use, useless devices here. Um, refinery and assembler process the ores, produce components for construction and assemble munitions for base defense. And it's outside the base. Outside the armored walls. Which have also been badly damaged. So I have no idea what's been going on. I'm thinking about slowly filling the ground in, drilling a big hole in the ground and building underground with hangers down there. The world, the printouts of this world say that some of the winds can get up to two to three hundred miles an hour. So any craft I build are going to have to be hidden underground, especially after I build helicopters and planes. I have um, 
old versions of reactors, whatever this world was before, this base was an old one. The important part I was going to show you, and what the sidetrack to do, is outside, and I've worked out a way if I cut through the roof to drop it in using a helicopter, to save disturbing it. But what I have is a, a beer copper, a large one, huge in fact. I don't think I'll ever need anything that size. And next to it is this little barrel. This little barrel contains cuttings for hops, wheat, barley, oats, sugar, yeast. Now, if I can repurpose some of the stuff, sorry, my it's getting late and the drugs, the stims they gave me aren't working the well they're supposed to. I don't know, something's going wrong. I think I just need a good one to sleep, which I wasn't expecting to be able to do. I need to rebuild this window somehow so it's cleaner. So the dampening fields on the out dampening layers on the outside don't have fields on this thing either. Oops. That was a mistake to get warm just to take this suit off the upsides are at the moment I have beer I have a way to make beer and I have a shower and importantly I have a toilet you have no idea how important a toilet and a shower is because sometimes you just don't want to crap in your own suit can I say crap on this it's personal log or is it I don't know anymore. I don't know how I'm going to do any of this anymore. So, I'm going to sign off day one. Try and get this entire area to interface with my suit properly without mucking around and see if I can just have enough parts together to make a decent hopper lifter. I'm going to refill this window. I'm going to fix the air lighting is going to close the doors and hopefully maybe get some sleep it may be I'm a grav world and they give me normal stims grav worlders don't deal well with stims we don't do well with lacks of sleep we actually sleep a lot the table itself it has a 30 hour day rotation with us sleeping 12 hours well 10 to 12 hours a day minimum and we hibernate for two to three weeks every so often which is a natural side effect apparently humans in the old days were supposed to hibernate never read anything about that before but i'm not going to argue i load up on food i curl up into my pit and i sleep for two weeks getting up occasionally to go to the toilet and to drink strange but there you go hopefully they don't visit me while i'm hibernating otherwise their supply runs may be a little lacking anyway this is commander boot day one signing off um computer stop listening compress and try and make me not look like a complete idiot thank you <laughs>